Stevenson gets a big win over Lebanon Valley, 72-52. To my left, Cameron Sapien. We kind of got like a veteran and a rookie thing going on right here with the senior and the freshman, Cameron Sapienza and Joey Lutz. Uh, Cam, I guess uh, it's age before beauty, right? That's the way that we do this. So we start with you. Uh, you were stroking it tonight, right? Like, what, what What does that feel like when you're in a zone like that? When something goes down, do you just sort of say, like, bro, I – I, I got to get more up. I, I got to put more towards the basket. It always feels good. Um, you know, been struggling uh, the past few years, but been trying to get in the gym as much as possible, get as many shots up, and it does feel good getting the ball through the rim. So. Is, is there a cool – maybe a dunk, I guess, would be cooler, but is there a cooler moment than a four-point play in basketball? Oh, no. That's the best. Yeah, right. That's the best, <laughs> especially when you make it. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I live for. That's cool, man. Uh, Joey, we were just talking a second ago with Coach. As a freshman, how important is it for you to show everybody that, like, I can do a lot of things, that my, my game isn't just predicated on me having to go to the rim or having to take shots, that I can make all of the right decisions? Uh, I think just confidence is a big thing. Uh, I think it's easy to come in as a freshman and kind of be a little intimidated sometimes. Um, but just, you know, trusting that I put in, you know, a good amount of work over the years and that, you know, I'm prepared for this moment and then, also, just, you know, the, the older guys like, you know, Cam and uh, some of the other guys in the locker room just kind of mentoring me, you know, um, giving me encouragement when a shot doesn't fall down. Um, just leadership like that, that kind of is helpful for a freshman like me. You know, where you are and finding your role with this team, how good has it felt to get these minutes that you've gotten early on in your career and to know that you have the confidence of, you know, Coach Stu and, and everybody on this team to be out there? It's felt really good. Yeah, I feel um, – uh, really pleased with how we've played, especially the last two games, and it's nice to go into this kind of stretch now uh, on back-to-back -back wins. But uh, but like like I said earlier, it's really just the the older guys in the locker room um, just being able to help me through everything. Like you know, like I said, when shots don't fall, um, stuff like that, they've done a great job of leading me. Cam, you've been here for a while. You've seen a lot of things, right? And like what this team is going to need to do in order to be able to make a run in conference play. What do you see and say, hey, this is these are the areas we got to get better at. This is how we need to improve over the course of the next month before we get in the conference. I would say probably it starts on the defensive end because um, we know what we got in store for uh, offensively. We know we can go out there and score if we get the ball sided and stuff like that. But definitely the defensive end and um, limiting turnovers. That's our biggest thing. Um, every turnover we've been getting on the tire, pushing the 45-pound plate uh, down and back. So we just got to – you know, get that out of our system, and it will come eventually. Wait a second. So, I mean, is it everybody's got to do it, or just whoever oh, committed it? Whoever, whoever oh. commits the turnover. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, what's it like after it? I haven't even picked up on this as I've been watching the game. Are yeah. you guys, like, shooting each other daggers when somebody throws the ball away? I guess. It, you got to – the legs get heavy after. <laughs> so, uh, but, no, it, it's getting us better and getting us to where we need to be. I get it. I get it. All right. Uh, Joe, I'm going to give you the one I gave Coach, right? Give me the favorite – when, you know, around holiday time, the song that you love hearing and the one that just, like, drives you absolutely bonkers. It's a tough one. I'm going to go the one I love hearing, Never Gets Old, uh, Mariah Carey, oh, All I Want for Christmas. I mean, it's a classic. classic. And the one that I could go without hearing uh, would probably be, um, you know, I'm going to have to agree with Coach on this one. I'm going to go Jingle Bells. Oh, there was such hate just, for Jingle. You know, not hate. I just I feel like, you know, it's a little overplayed. Okay. It's a little overplayed. Cam, I'll come to you. The one that you love, the one that you hate. The one that I love, probably got to say uh, This Christmas by Chris Brown. I mean, when I'm in the car by myself, it, I don't want anyone seeing me. Kick, please, please, give us a little give us a little bit, Cam. I'm, I can't. Everybody's asking. Everybody's asking for a couple of bars. I can't. I can't. Cam. Yeah, I can't. But uh, I'd probably say Jingle Bells as well. I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I mean, it's just it's overplayed. Overplayed. This is stunning. Hey, uh, guys, great win, great performance. Congratulations. Uh, in, enjoy these weeks together as a team going out on the road, and we'll see you back here in January, all right? Sounds good. Thanks, Joey. Yeah, Thanks, Cam. Thank Joey Lights, Cameron Sapienza. Go Mustang Sports TV.